I have a pack of cards here, and I would just like you to reach in and grab any card you want to. Um, for instance, the Ace of Hearts, just for the sake of argument, it's an easy card to remember. And if you were here, I'd give you a Sharpie, and I'd ask you to sign it. I also assign these two jokers here to guard your ace, because once you sign it, it becomes valuable, right? Your signature is valuable. Your signature also makes it a unique, one-of-a-kind uh, item. So I would take your ace of hearts, and I would uh, sign these jokers to guard it. And in fact, I would take the uh, sandwich here, and I would set it over to the side of the mat. I would take it out of the uh, deck completely so nothing could happen to it. To which uh, you might wonder, well, what could happen to it? Well, this deck is filled with thieves. It's got at least four of them, four notorious thieves, uh, hiding somewhere in the deck. And uh, these thieves will oftentimes come to the top because that's the best position for them to be able to eventually try and steal your card. So for instance, uh, oh, here we go. There's one of the kings coming to the top. We're gonna take it and we're gonna isolate it in this card box. So it can do no damage. And that's one down, three to go. What about the remaining kings? Well, hopefully another another cut or, or so, and hopefully another one will come to the top where we can uh, grab it and isolate it. So let's see what we got. Yep, another one. Let's take it and let's pop it into the, into the card box here. Two down, two to go. Only problem is at this point, they're on to us now. They, they know that their brethren are being isolated in this box and they might not be so uh, so quick to come to the top anymore. Let, let's see if we can get another one here. And No, no dice. They're hiding now. But that's okay. I have a pretty good idea of where they're hiding. I think they're, they're kind of hiding towards the bottom of the deck to make it a little harder for us to, to find them. But I'm pretty good at finding kings. I can sort of sense where they generally are because they are such mischief makers. And yeah, I think I got them. I think, uh, I think they're right here. And yep, there we go. We got them. Here are our last two troublemaking kings. And we're going to uh, isolate them in the box as well so that they can't do any damage. And now we've got four kings isolated in our card box. We've got... Uh, the two jokers uh, guarding your signed ace, and we should be in pretty good shape here, right? Now, what, what could happen? Well, unfortunately, the kings have still found a way to try to get at your signed ace. Apparently, they weren't successful because, and if you were here, you could tip these out yourself. The uh, jokers astutely moved your signed ace into the card box.